Mars catacombs bonfire. Like, uh, you know, here are two bosses that I hate more than the stray demon. Uh, Ceaseless Discharge and the Witch of Isleth, or what, whatever she's called, Bed of Chaos, that's it. I, I like that you don't like the Ceaseless Discharge now, because I taught you that. You didn't teach me that. I went over and I fought him and he was complete bullcrap. But I found yeah, a, I, I found a way to kill him instantly. Without hitting him. How do you kill him? I, I told you the ceaseless dis discharge. It was trial by fire, if you will. Oh, shut the fuck up. But you can make him walk off of the edge. You can make him jump off a cliff. And that's funny. Who, the, um... The, the ceaseless discharge. The you can make him wa jump off a cliff. Oh. So why the that's hell way. is the raven... Or the crow, rather, carrying us between the asylum and here if we look like an egg. It, like, when we went up there and, and she went up and caught us, was it like, oh man, I really like carrying round stuff between these two places. <laughs> I should just carry my eggs back and forth and build a nest. <laughs> what is that about? I have no fucking clue. The crow has some, like, lore behind it, but I've never really bothered with it. Well, it's insinuated that crows... Well, okay, crows are related to Velka, which is, like, the goddess that presides over sin, or whatever. And... Oh, crows can also remember faces, too, so maybe it knows who you are. Okay. But that doesn't make sense why you would have to curl up like an egg in order to be able to go back to the asylum. Or why it would know that that's the signal to carry you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to the catacombs. I, I went the wrong way. I'm sorry. But anyway, Tyler's already in the catacombs. But the bird is is related to Velka, which is the with whatever. And it's insinuated through several sources that Velka is Priscilla's mother. So maybe the bird would... And Priscilla was originally the Emerald Maiden Herald of this game. You know the Emerald Herald? Yeah. The crossbreed Priscilla was originally that. So it would make sense if the bird was carrying you to Lordran to, you know, save her daughter or whatever. But since she's now just some weird boss that's sitting out in the middle of nowhere that's related to Seath, it, it doesn't make as much sense for Velka's okay. crow to be I'm doing shit. I'm still listening, shit. but I'm going to look for the bit that actually lets my mic sit on my head. So tell me when you're in the catacombs. Okay. But, like, it doesn't make sense that Velka's crow would be carrying you around if that wasn't this, the case. Oh, Tyler, I learned about cut content. Do you want to know about cut content, Tyler? Sure. Okay. Well, Shiva of the East, someone from the, the Forest Hunter Covenant, we've met him a couple times. Everyone's always so suspicious of him. And one of the things is, like, okay, you would get the Chaos Sword or something, and and a piece of content would be, oh, he'd go, oh, man, I want that sword. And he'd steal it from you, and then you'd have to invade him to get it, and you'd get another Black Eye Orb, like you get to invade Latrek. And you'd have to go invade him and, and get the sword back. But it's, apparently, it was cut for some reason or another, even though you can still, on PC, you can spawn in the item and still invade him. So I, but it's pretty interesting that the game still has hints about Shiva being a total douchebag, even though he never does anything except sell you stuff. So that's that's something. Oh, and Petrus. There was some cut content involving Petrus, the uh, the cleric, where he was originally the guy that gave you the right of kindling in the pinwheel boss fight. Like he was tied to the table that pinwheel uses, and he was like, "Oh man, help me, help me." And, and then you'd free him, and he'd give you the right of kindling. And there was some old dialogue involved involving that that I don't remember, and I, I won't bring up. I won't even, like, put it in the video. There was, that had something to do with that. But he's now Holy just some... He's now just some dick who kills his friends. Who, who I, li I don't mind, because his friends are assholes, anyway. I, I'm some dick who kills my friends. Yeah, you and Petrus Not would get really. along. And you guys actually look similar. By the way, I didn't find my mic piece that lets the mic sit on my head, but I found a mic piece that lets the mic sit on my head. Yeah. 
Actually, when I got the mic that I use for Xbox now, it didn't even have a headpiece when I bought it. So I had to tear one off of another mic. Or not uh, another, but another another set of headphones. And it used to be like, it used to double as a set of headphones and a mic, but then the headphone part broke. So now it's just like the headpiece and the mic. And that's the oh, grand story, story of my headset. Bobby, how catacombs are you right now? I'm in, I'm at the first bonfire. Oh, cool. Gonna go ahead. Uh, and... Are you human? No, I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna use one of my twin humanities. Okay, you know the thing where you pull the thing, right? Yes. You know the thing. Okay. He's talking I'm about that that little switch right there that I haven't interacted with yet. I'm putting my summon sign to the left of that on top of the skeleton corpse guy. It's next to the bonfire, though, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. It's, it's in the bonfire room. It's oh, yeah, there's the, the skeleton. Bonfire. Okay. I, uh, okay, I can wait. My summon should be there. A skeleton reposted me, by the way. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I didn't know they could do that. Yeah, they can do that. One of the main problems with being human, though, in this game is that people will invade you constantly for no reason, and when you're at a low level or your equipment isn't quite as good as you want it to be, you haven't upgraded your equipment, that's a real problem. Like, with this guy, I was just about to leave Blight Town, and you don't know how much trouble that was. And I was just about to leave Blight Town, and some asshole invaded. And, and it was... ugh. Okay, I'm summoning you. And then I was like, no, just leave. I, the whole time I was sending him messages, come on, just leave. And he's like, no, fight me, bro. And I was like, okay, fine. I'm at the entrance to the freaking Valley of Drakes. Come get me. And he's like, yeah, whatever. And so he comes up and I beat the shit out of him with my Morning Star. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, good game. <laughs> Bobby, you gotta use the Black Separation Crystal when you don't like people. The Black Separation Crystal doesn't work on invaders. Like, here are the messages that, that he sent to me. It, it was this guy, right here. It works in the second game. So I get rid of phantoms in the second game when I don't want to be invaded. Oh yeah, that that's a thing, yeah. isn't it? But in this game it's not a thing. So yeah, I was summoning oh, you. Resting you. At the bon oh, you're summoning me? Yeah. Oh, cool. I used your summon sign. It doesn't, it doesn't say I'm summoning me. Oh, it, it failed apparently. Oh. Well, I'm going to put it back down. No, don't put it back down. I'm summoning you again. Oh, I just put it back God down. God damn it, Tyler! Stop ruining that everything! You know we're, we're, we're in the same universe. It's all that matters. Yeah, but you're making it impossible to connect. <laughs> Sit still and don't move your summon sign. I can use it. Sit summon and don't move your still sign, then. Yeah, how do you like that? I think I'm summoning you. Or because you moved your sign, it's broken. Yeah, it, you broke it. You broke the summon. You're ruining everything. You're ruining the video. Oh, I'm being summoned. I'm being summoned. Okay. Stop ruining By the way, video. I can, I can heal myself five times, and I can heal you and me once. So okay, so if, if I ever need you to drop a heal, yo, then that's good. And it, it is more fitting that my guy's not a member of the Sun Bro Covenant because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be smashing the Sun, as it were. I like that I praise the Sun when I'm summoned, and then I praise the Sun after I'm able to do so. Yeah, and I'm, what I'm talking about is, I mean, th this guy's gonna get the darkness ending. Tyler's gonna get the canon ending, as it were. So actually, both endings are canon because the universe of Dark Souls. Oh my God! The, don't blue. shut up about Dark Souls Two. Miyazaki had nothing to do with it. It's not canon. The story is fan fiction at best. Yeah, but Dark Souls three. But Dark Souls two muddles up everything, and Dark Souls three, yes, is made by Miyazaki. But I'm hoping they change the title soon, and it has nothing to do with this. No, with Dark this Souls universe. three is essentially like, hey, time travel to prove that all these universes can exist. No, I don't want Dark Souls three to have anything to do with these two games. With Dark Souls 1 and 2. I want it to be something completely different. But the fact that it is another sequel enrages me to no end. Because these games are all about mystery and fun. And it's and 
It's taking all the fun out, and it's ruining the mystery. By having so many goddamn sequels. Okay, so I'm gonna fight these reforming skeletons. You can take care of that necromancer. He's running. That shouldn't be a problem. He doesn't run very fast. <laughs> he runs faster than me. It's because you're wearing full stone armor. Okay, I, I believe I've I taken care of the skeletons. I'll help you with this guy. Gosh darn it, okay, Chuckle Gum. Dead. 